Hello everybody and welcome to Next Dream. Today we're going to be playing some Metroid Prime Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And let's jump into this let's play of Metroid Prime Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, Metroid Prime on the Nintendo Switch. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely probably my favorite game on the GameCube. And now it has been remastered for the Nintendo Switch. Now, it, it uh, looks like it's given me a, a place to go. What, that's what I really like about this Metroidvania game, is if you can't figure out where to go and you wander for enough time, it'll, give, it'll tell you where to go. Um, it doesn't tell you right away, but if you can't figure it out, it lets you know. So we got to try and work our way here. We just recently got the uh, the beam cannon. So now we can open the purple doors, as you can see in the map here. So we got to work our way up to that purple door. So let's uh, Oh, where'd this guy come from? This is a new enemy to the area. Let's shoot him in the back. That's this guy's weakness. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Ah, there you go. Breathe it out, buddy. All right, let's keep going here. We recent, like I said, we recently got the beam gun. Oh, what's it called? The beam gun? It's called the wave beam. We recently got the wave beam gun, which does this cool thing here. I don't think it's as powerful as the other gun. Okay, so we got to get up top, I think. Kill those couple guys there. Also recently unlocked Double Jump. So what's cool about Metroid Prime is when you start the game, you have most of your powers on which you're going to get the game, and then you lose them right away. So you get a little bit of taste of what you're going to be able to play like. And then they take it away, and then you have to find them in the uh, in the game. Now, like I said, this game is, uh, is pretty awesome. And... There we go, in through this door. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, the wave beam, you can kill these enemies but before you couldn't kill them, so that's kind of cool. There we go, blow them all up. With the regular uh, with the regular beam, you can't kill those guys. Am I going the right way? Let's check the map. Looks like I am. All right, next room. So it's up here somewhere where I gotta go. There's a couple more of those big boys over there. So I gotta figure out how to get up there. It's not this way. So you have a lock on button in this game and that's kind of what made it special. Now for this remaster, they added in twin stick controls because the GameCube version, I remember when it originally came out, everybody was uh, poo pooing it because it didn't have uh, twin stick uh, controls for the game, but at the time, the way they built the controls made sense for the gameplay. So it ended up being the right way to go. Now they added the twin stick controls, but you could also lock on as well in this one. So you, they, they made it uh, so you can have the best of both worlds. Okay, so we gotta get up there. We gotta figure out how to get up there. I don't think it's through this door. Let's check the map. No, it's not through there. So we gotta somewhere in this room is a way to get up top. Maybe through here. Is there a platform up there? You can use your uh, scanner mask too to look around. Sometimes it'll give you hints. Those are those bad enemies. Essentially, I think we got to find like a starting point. We 
we've made it up top because we got the double jump where before I couldn't come uh, come this way now I can I probably blow this wall up let's see oh maybe not okay not what I expected oh we'll go up that way Okay, let's blast the big icicle, see what happens, okay? Let's rocket launcher it. There we go. All right, now we've created a new platform. Very good. Let's jump down, let's check out this platform. See where it brings us. Hit me there. You can collect that health. It's by holding your charge beam. There we go. There's the door I gotta go to. No problemo. I wonder if there's any benefit to jumping up here. Is there hidden something down here? Looks like there's a, a rocket launcher thing in there. Okay, well, I think we need the, the fire gun before we can get that. That's okay, let's keep proceeding. Okay, new room has been accessed. Another thing that was in the original game that they uh, is not in this one. I don't know if it was done on purpose or what, but before in the original game, when you'd hold down your charge beam, it would actually light up the area around you like a flashlight almost. And they took that out of this. So some of the areas are kind of dark to navigate. Okay, see, I can't do that yet because I do not have the spider ball attachment. So I got to get that before I can do anything. Can I do anything in this uh, pod here? It's like I can close this thing on myself. Did that do anything? It's like it did. Open up a couple waterways. Is there another one of these over here? Nope, there's a hole I can go in though, I think. Maybe not, okay. I open up some waterways, so that's something. I guess I gotta raise these icebergs by ra raising the water level. Let's find a place to go do that. They did something really cool in this game. The way, um, the way you jump for the platforming segments is really, really easy to, um, to really navigate it, uh, how you're jumping. Okay, so let's pull up my scan visor. Scan some stuff. What's this say? Slot isn't active. It can be like we have something nearby. Okay, good to know. So I gotta activate something somewhere. Okay, see, I can't do that yet because I don't have the spider ball. Do I need the spider ball to proceed? Because if I do... It's going to stink. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's charge this boy up. Let's see what we get. Open up the other two. Any water flowing yet? There we go. All right, we did it. Let's go activate that guy, see what we get. Okay, cool.
We've activated the waterways. So how did this help us? Looks like we raised the platforms. Oh, sounds like it's got a timer on it. Okay, it's already going back down. That should be able to make this jump. There we go. All right, so we've got a few doors here that we can explore. We got the purple door and we have, it looks like a rocket door. And this door doesn't look like it's activated. Okay, so probably have to activate that somehow. So we'll ignore that for now. I'll probably have to go to the purple door. It doesn't look like I can reach that one. All right, let's do the purple one. Okay, the sentry guns. Oh, 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 the space pirate. Probably switch back to regular beam. See, uh, because they've enabled two s twin stick in this game, you have to hold the button down to switch your gun. So it's a little bit slower on the gun switch than the uh, previous game. There we go. Look at that. We got enabled a cutscene. That's how you know we're supposed to be here. Okay, we got a floating thing. Uh oh. Locked door. It means I gotta fight this guy. Okay, looks like I got a couple space pirates. Army pirates. Not too bad. This is really my first encounter with space pirates, so. The lock-on system makes this game uh, a lot of fun to fight these guys. There we go. Doors have been unlocked. We successfully dispatched all the space pirates. Collect all the health in the room. Okay, let's proceed to this room. Oh, this is a map room, I think. We got an area map. There's not a lot of these, I find. Download the map data. All right, let's see what we got here. Like we got a whole thing that I haven't even explored in this area. Look like back here, there's some sort of arena where we'll probably fight a boss. All right, let's see where we proceed now. Looks like here's somewhere we can walk. guys. You gotta use rockets to kill these guys. Crates are always good for a little bit of health. There we go, Let's scan this. This is usually access granted. Oh, more space pirates. Didn't mean to turn into a morph ball. Keep on pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to switch my gun here. Anybody else? Still playing the fighting music. Okay, just downloading some pirate data. Maybe it glitched out. Maybe there's a guy stuck in a wall somewhere. Thank you. 
Yeah, definitely the charge beam is the go-to for fighting enemies. Did I get that guy or what? Stuck down there like a fool. There you go, got him. Any more of these jabronis? Okay, nothing important to scan over here. Oh. Oh, music stopped. Must have been it. The red stuff is in the important stuff to scan. Nothing else is really important. It just kind of gives you like a back uh, backstory to the what's going on. All right, so we're in this room here. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, there we go. That's the first uh, up door I've ever gone through. Neat. Don't you guys get sick of this? I'm trying to shoot the one in front of me, bro. Okay, easily dispatched of. Oh, there's another one. Another couple here. A couple bros. Higher bros. That's it for the pirates. All right, we activated a scanner. Go scan some stuff. Pirate log. Let's just activate. Did I get a weapon? Nope, not yet. All right, let's go blow that thing up. There's probably something in the middle there, maybe. If you don't know, in Metroid, when you turn to Morph Ball, you use your bomb, that's how you jump in Morph Ball mode. What did this do? Anything fun? Made those move. Activated another spot. Better not be timed. Let's get up there. I make that? It's high. Oh, I guess I can. What did that do? There we go. Whatever that is, I did it. Roll down there. Check out what we did. Usually these require you to spin. It's like I'm lowering these things. Okay, one done. There we go, almost there. There are four of these? Looks like there's four of these. Okay, three. Yet four yet. This is the last one. There we go. What do we do? We 
lowered that thing. Now we made a laser with some planets. Okay, how's this help me? Ooh, there's something. That's probably important, whatever that is. Let's go get it. Okay, now we're this one. Okay, next platform. Boom, made it. All right, what do we got? What did I get? Super missile. I got the superest missile. Powerful attack uses S missiles. It uses five missiles using the power beam. Press ZR or A to charge. Okay. And press R to fire. Okay, so I gotta charge these bad boys. I don't even remember this ability. I haven't played this game since it came out on the GameCube, but uh, let's see what happens. Nice. Probably a safe spot, a good place to save, and a good place to end this Let's Play. Well, everybody, if you enjoyed this Let's Play of Metroid Prime Remastered, let me know that down in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you later.